everybody, Karen Rugby and Veronica Combs here for Tech Republic, talking about smart cities today. And, and Veronica, I know you you learned a great deal through this uh, great webinar about how cities will be using edge computing uh, specifically, sounds like just to ultimately save money and improve safety. Right, right. Um, it was from IDC and the researcher was Sean McCarthy. And he was saying that uh, projects are moving out of like the pilot testing phase into implementation and next the next generation of projects and so it was really interesting to hear about how edge computing and then analysis of that data that's um, collected on the edge um, is analyzed and used to reduce pedestrian deaths at a city level but also um, change the maintenance schedule for um, aircraft uh, in the Air Force so um, because you're collecting all this data now uh, around planes particularly, you would know if um, certain weather conditions might mean maintenance could happen sooner or whether you know it's been smooth flying and you don't need to, to uh, do any maintenance, maintenance right now. So he shared some specific examples about what cities are, and other governments are doing now and as well as what's coming down the pike. And I think it's interesting, we've been talking about this for, for uh, quite a while now, uh, Veronica, about the role of, of IoT and sensors are just, exploding the amount of sensors uh, being used in cities was that addressed as well yeah uh-huh uh, in fact he said that um, anyone who wants to do one of these projects needs to make friends with whoever owns the lighting poles because um, you know it's the perfect place to put sensors so you could monitor um, traffic in a crosswalk or you could monitor the stop signs to see if people actually stop um, he also talked about monitoring river levels. So cities, um, whenever they have lots of different sources of data that they're trying to pull together, he said that was a really good um, candidate. That's a really good place to use some of this edge computing and then artificial intelligence to analyze what the data is telling you. Um, one um, example that he used was a city that was trying to uh, reduce traffic fatalities among pedestrians and bicyclists. So they had a camera pointed at the crosswalk and they had a camera pointed at the car intersection because they wanted to find out, was it drivers who were not observing the rules or was it pedestrians and bicyclists who are maybe crossing against the light or crossing when they shouldn't? And so he used that as an example of you have the sensor and it's collecting lots of data and then you can make that, use that data to make decisions about, do we need to change the light? Or do we need to make the light longer so people can get across? Or do we need to move the crosswalk or things like that? So it was interesting to hear about, you know, data actually making changes in how a city operates. Yeah, most definitely. And and again, as we've been talking about smart cities uh, for, for quite a while now, does it sound like that this is just still within the, the biggest, the bigger cities, or is it starting to trickle down now more uh, to some of the smaller cities who are getting more on board with planning for the future? Um, what, well, one thing that he said that was really interesting was it's different from city governments and state governments and federal governments. And one of the important parts of this IoT edge computing work is that you actually crunch some of the data at the edge. So, you know, you're not collecting the data and then sending it to the cloud and analyzing it and then sending the results back down. You're collecting the data and doing some of this analysis right at the edge. Um, because that gives you the ability to make really quick decisions. He, he used a security example. If you have a camera pointed on a hallway that no one's supposed to be in, if someone walks in there, you need to analyze that data at the edge, at, at that uh, location right away to know, is it a shadow, is it a cat, is it a person, and then make a decision based on that, like sending an alert to a security guard. So he said that cities are actually collecting more of this kind of data. So they're doing a lot more with um, IoT uh, and edge computing work, whereas states are kind of in a different position. They don't really have, um, they're just not monitoring that many different kinds of uh, activities. So he said local government cities especially, um, and then also the military is another big place where this edge computing and, and uh, artificial intelligence is uh, important as well. He actually talked about a submarine um, that is uh, uh, automated. Like sometimes people are on it running in and sometimes they aren't. So he was wow. talking about all the sensors and how it can collect data about the weather and change its course if it's bad, if it's you know a risky place to be in. Um, it's called the Sea Hunter and it was launched in 2016 and it's one of the autonomous ships that the Navy has roaming around. <laughs> wow, that's so, just, it's hard to even envision that. <laughs> it is, it is. And so to answer your question, I think 
big cities are still leading away here, but they're um, coming up with lots of use cases that smaller cities can copy because you know most places are concerned about pedestrian deaths and improving safety. Um, uh, you know, there are certain systems that will um, track gunshots, and so if a if a sensor detects a gunshot, then it'll turn on a camera, which could perhaps spot, you know, who's doing the shooting. He used an example from San Francisco about to illustrate that. Um, but I think as big cities figure things out, smaller cities will copy that good work and, and have their own work, oh, their own IoT and edge computing projects. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that, that makes perfect sense. And just to hear how it can help in real time you know, to pass the information on quickly, uh, you know, when it's there on the edge that helps to, uh, for safety all around. Um, all right, interesting stuff here, Veronica. I know we have a great deal uh, about edge computing and smart cities, uh, AI and all of that good stuff on Tech Republic. We hope all of you all will check it out. And Veronica, thanks for being here with me today. Thank you.